Lou Manfredini, Ace's home expert. And for those of you that are lucky enough to get to put your lawnmower to bed for the winter, I have some tips on how you can do it properly so it's ready for the spring. Now, a lot of times, uh, and I probably even have a video to show you how to get your lawnmower ready for the spring, but you can actually do all of that work right now so that when spring does roll around and you want to fire this thing up, you're ready to go. A number one, I want you to clean the whole thing off. Uh, take the spark plug wire off, turn it upside down, look underneath the deck. I mean, this is a brand new mower, of course, but there may be some grass and build up underneath there that you wanna take away. You're not gonna see any of that here, but it's important that the uh, spark plug wire comes off before you do any of that. And as I mentioned about the uh, tune-ups and things like that that people typically do in the spring, you could certainly do this in the fall as well. Find out which spark plug it takes find out what's the right air cleaner. Go ahead and swap those two things out. Very easy to do with the right wrench. You can pop the spark plug off, put the new one right in there. And it's a good idea, depending on how often you uh, cut the grass, to change the oil in the mower as well. There is uh, typically a, a drain plug on the side of the mower. You're gonna have to put it onto something so you can drain it out in there. And then you'll get a, um, um, a container of lawnmower oil for the engine. It's typically about an SA30. SAE 30 blend that you're gonna put in there. That brand new oil will make sure that that engine runs smoothly year after year after year. And finally, uh, the fuel. Now there's a lot of um, different information when it comes to storing your gas powered equipment in the winter months when they're not gonna sit. This is something I've done for years and it works. Whether you use a product like Stab Stabil or Seafoam, you want to Put this into the tank and then fill the tank all the way to the tippy top. A lot of people say, oh, you got to drain the tank. But see, the problem is when you drain the tank, you allow air and moisture to get inside there. With the fuel all the way to the top with the stay bill in there, you ensure that water doesn't get in there and then causes that kind of gunk that can form on the carburetor. Once you put that in there, I want you to go ahead and run the mower for about, I don't know, two, three minutes or so, so that it gets into the line, into the gas line, into the carburetor, shut the thing down, put it away. Now don't worry if all of a sudden things warm up and like, gosh, I gotta go cut my lawn one more time. I already put the stable in there. Go ahead, cut the lawn, fill it back up with gas, and then put the stable in there. Oh, also, if you have a gas container that you're also uh, using to fill up your lawnmower that's gonna be stored for the winter, add some of this, uh, fuel line treatment in it as well because it'll help store it and if you live in a colder climate that uses a snow thrower well that gas will be treated for it as well if you'd like other information or another video you'd like us to cover just leave a message right at the bottom of this video